these rear heels. You can see they are flat here and that's um, from our stepping landing heel first. And I'm just going to clean out in the seat of the corn here. And now you can see a lot of stuff came out. It exfoliated. Um, no, don't do that. And now this has affected this measuring height. We're going to measure her heel height from the seat of the corn right here and right there. So now that I've cleaned that out, I can see they are a little bit more than a quarter of an inch um, or just about a quarter of an inch, maybe uh, three-eighths of an inch. Uh, we might take this one down. We will take this one down a tiny bit to match the height of this one. Um, and that's about it. Her heels end right there. So I will start my bevel right here. Go all the way around. We stop moving all the way around to right here. I'm going to bring wall to sole level. There's a little bump right at the edge of where her sole meets the white line. And that's where I will take start the bevel. Is just at this where these two join each other, so at the edge of the sole. Go all the way around, right here, along here. Uh, I'm going to put her hoof in between my knees and rasp like this. It's going to be a lot. Twenty degree bevel at the toe, wall to sole level, heels. Oh, okay, just a smidge off this heel, cross being flat, and this one, cross being flat. And we checked the medial lateral balance of the wall to sole level and it's even. Yeah, okay. And oh, we have taken her toe a little bit further back to this little bump, this sole ridge. Okay. And all the lumps and bumps, just leave those. Don't touch the sole. Nothing to do to the sole. Bugs. We have Bella's hind here. I can show you her hind. A little rock stuck in her toe there. Clean the hoof at the seat of the corn so we can measure heel height 
accurately. So I gotta dig this out a little bit. And this one here. There. Okay. This way. The wall is above soil level. Uh, just over an eighth of an inch. The wall looks a little higher on the inside. Medial lateral. It's a little higher on this side. And her sole. A little bit of a little flake come off there. And that's all I can get with my hoof pick. Inside heel is a little higher than the outside heel, measured at the seat of the corn. So I'll take her inside heel a little bit lower. Uh, they're not more than a quarter of an inch, so we'll leave them, just making them balanced medial lateral. the bevel on the wall at the end of the heel, 20 degree bevel, wall to soil level. When you bevel to soil level, you might see the white line and you might not. Generally you'll see the white line at the toe not so much from 10 till the heel. There's distance from wall and sole. An upright hoof. You, will, you might see the white line all the way around. See where I've taken the heel, the bevel up to the heel there, and up to the heel here. This heel I brought down to my other way this time. Good. Now, this I'm going to take a little bit more here. Oops. Turn the Ross backwards, and just like that. Feel medial lateral balance. I can feel here. They're even with soul level. I can see the white line in there a little bit.
This hill is a little higher than the outside hill. It's going to bring that down a little bit. Okay. Now, let me see. Okay, there's Bella's hoof. All finished, all trimmed. Ready to go. Let's have a look this way. The bevel. 